arrested. In other news tonight, after a years-long investigation, Hunter Biden pleading not guilty today to federal tax evasion charges and doing so right here in Los Angeles. Prosecutors say that the president's son used money meant for the IRS to fund a lavish lifestyle. The upcoming trial comes after the collapse of a plea deal that was favorable for Biden. KTLA's Sandra Mitchell joins us live from downtown L.A. where she attended the arraignment. Sandy. Share really tight security as we entered the courthouse today. We had to surrender our cell phones and our laptops. We were searched by federal officers with metal detectors. But once inside the courtroom, this arraignment lasted just 30 minutes. As expected, Hunter Biden pleading not guilty. Dressed in a dark suit and confidently responding to a federal judge in downtown L.A., Hunter Biden today pleading not guilty to nine federal tax charges, three felonies, six misdemeanors, including failure to pay $1.4 million, evading the assessment of taxes and filing false returns. His not guilty plea came after a plea deal fell apart in July. Hunter Biden and his team are so upset that that plea deal fell apart because the plea deal said no time in prison. Now we're potentially looking at up to 17 years. Federal prosecutors accused the 53-year-old of a four-year scheme to avoid paying taxes. The 56-page indictment says instead the Malibu resident spent his money on drugs, escorts and girlfriends, luxury hotels, exotic cars and, quote, everything but his taxes. His attorneys are expected to argue that it happened during a time when Biden was abusing crack cocaine and alcohol. I think you'll hear about drug abuse as a potential reason for failing to pay taxes. Mistaken negligence are not defenses here to the felony charges. So all of this to say is I think Hunter Biden and his team do have some real struggles when it comes to mounting a defense. Hundreds of media surrounded the federal courthouse in downtown L.A., but Biden and his legal team slipped away without speaking. He's expected back in court for a pretrial hearing in March. Hunter Biden has already settled that tax debt. A friend of his paid the government the more than $1 million that he owed. But federal prosecutors say he still broke the law over several years. And they're moving ahead with the case. The trial expected to start in June. We're live in downtown L.A. I'm Sandra Mitchell, KTLA 5 News. Sharon Rick, back to you. All right, Sandra, thanks for that. We